By the sweat of your brow will you have food to eat until you return to the ground from which you were made. For you were made from dust, and to dust you will return. That's from Genesis chapter 3. On Ash Wednesday, literally millions of people will commence a journey that begins with the imposition of ashes on their foreheads. These ashes remind us that we are dust, and to dust we shall return. Ash Wednesday marks the beginning of the season of Lent, a time where many in the Christian faith engage in a period of self-reflection and renewed spiritual discipline to prepare for Easter. The cross-shaped ashes on our foreheads are a symbolic reminder that human life is flawed, that our life as we know it will eventually come to an end, and that we follow a Lord who tasted death with us and for us, and not just us, but indeed for the whole world. Lynn is also an invitation to be more intentional about reflecting on our own life and pilgrimage with God, to ask the question, how does my presence bring death to others instead of giving them a taste of the new life that Jesus offers? During Lent, we can acknowledge our sinfulness, our utter inability to heal ourselves, and we humbly ask God and one another for forgiveness. During this Lenten season, as your bishop, I invite you to be intentional about saying no to behaviors that keep you from deepening your relationship with God and other people. I invite you perhaps to to become more involved in your church or maybe you want to spend less time at church to free up energy uh, to a new partnership for a new partnership and community out in the world. Maybe you want to exercise or study a book of the Bible or commit to daily time of prayer. Or maybe God is asking you to set aside time to get to know your neighbors and to find Christ in unexpected places. Whatever you choose, just remember, you are dust, yes, but dust that is deeply loved and cherished in the eyes of God, dust that is even now being reshaped into something so beautiful and holy that we can scarcely even imagine it.